guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live, and today I'm gonna be performing a routine uh, called Cheap Labor by, um, uh, by by David Acker. Now, this is my variation of uh, Cheap Labor. It's, um, uh, it's a slight handling variation, but it's basically, in nuts and bolts of it, is Cheap Labor. Uh, you can find this in Natural Selections Volume 1 or Volume 2. I can't remember if it's Volume 1 or Volume 2. Uh, either way, you should get both of the books because they are brilliant. And it's one of my favourite Stickman style plots. Uh, so let's do this right now. I've got Sarah behind the camera. Hey, Sarah. Hello. Hello. Um, a pack of cards. Uh, here, 52 playing cards. Okay. Uh, you're going to pick one of these cards, okay? Anyone? Uh, yeah, so as we go through the cards, just say stop. She's drinking at the moment. She's drinking. There you go. Anytime you want to just say stop. Stop. There? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put it forward. You happy with that one? Uh, the Three of Clubs. Okay. Cool. Um, now, I'm going to get the card signed. You're over there, so I'm going to put your name on this. And I will even put your full name on. No, don't bother. Oh, no, I'm going to. Uh, Sarah... Louise Petty, there you go. So it's fair to say you rarely put Sarah Louise on anything. So that card is completely unique to you. Would you agree? Yes. Yes. Cool. So I'm going to try and do something impossible now. Um, I'm going to try. There's so many cards signed with Sarah in this pack. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm going to try and find your card. But I'm not. A different name if you want. I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. Uh, so somewhere in here is your card. I'll even give the cards a bit of a shuffle, just one quick shuffle. And and now I'm going to do something impossible with four cards. But in order to do something impossible with four cards, you need to decide the four cards that uh, we're going to use. OK, so as I go through, we'll get back to your card in a minute. We need four of the cards. So as I go through the deck, you're going to say stop. Wherever you say stop, I'll push the card forward and we'll do that again and again and again. So we've got four cards stuck out the pack. So as I go through, say stop. Stop. There you go. That's one. And a second one. Uh, stop. Perfect. And the third one? Stop. And the fourth one? Stop. There. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with those four cards? Would you like to change your mind and go for some others? There are a whole bunch there, or are you happy with those? I'm good. Cool. Um, we're going to get back to your card in a minute. In a second, we will get back to your card. But right now, I'm going to show you something kind of impossible. Because I want you to understand something here. No one knows what these four cards are, but I have this pen that we use to sign your card. And if I just take this pen and use it as kind of like a magic wand and tap the top of the pack, when I do, something interesting happens. You see, one of these cards, and one only, has now got a little stick man on it. Can you, can you see? Here, let me turn it around so you can yeah, see it properly. Can you see, can you see the little stick man guy? Yeah. One, one card has got a little stick man on it. Now, let's see if we can do that again. Let's see if... I uh, I need to tap, yeah. If I just tap, just like that, hopefully, check it out. Now we've got two cards with stick men on them. That's two, let's do it again, let's do it again. Every single time I tap with the pen, we get another little stick man, that's three stick men. Let's try it one more time. Look, if I just tap one more time, all four of these cards, one, two, three, four, they all have stick men on them, which is a pretty cool trick in itself, bearing in mind that you decided which cards we were gonna use, but watch this. As quickly as they appear, they disappear. And now we're left with, well, one card with a stick man on. And to be clear, it's the only card with a stick man on. None of these cards have stick man on, just one card and one card only. And hopefully, with any luck, the stick man has found your card because the stick man has ended up on one card and one card only. And Sarah, that would be the card with your name on it. And Sarah, I'm gonna throw this to you. You can keep that as a souvenir because you know that you're going to want to keep that forever. Um, there you go. It's called, uh, it's called uh, Cheap Labour. Uh, it's a very commercial trick. It's like an instant reset. Uh, it does need three cards, but you can add them on at any point to a shuffle deck in use. Uh, and it's, uh, like I say, an instant reset, no table required. It's very commercial. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't forget to like the channel, uh, like the, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll be back again tomorrow at six o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.